Hello everyone, I hope you are safe, I hope you are doing well, I hope you are catching other as usual. As this FA here the brand new video to help you to improve your trading skills. So what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm going to break down a trade I took today, which is still running here, a 10 hour trade. I think I took partial somewhere around 5 hour and my full TP would have been the 10 hour here. So I'm gonna be break it down how I got this trade and I'm also gonna show you guys uh like I call this cell from the weekly call and I'm going to put the video of the weekly call here. Not the full video, but just the part where I was breaking down that we are going to have a sell from this line here. All right, so let's get into it. What do we see? When I come back to this right, we have this guy took liquidity equal highs, then broke structure to the downside, which was this guy, then left internal liquidity. That's to leave internal liquidity. So let's see what the internal liquidity actually looks like. If I zoom in this, I can have this POI. Here. and i can have this guy's internal liquidity as well as i can have a poi up here which i don't know i can have it on the one minute chart i can have that yes i think i can have that i can have this on the one one minute yeah this guy here so what, what do i expect price i don't want to see price which getting this this guy again looks valid to me but i don't want to see that happening because this whole thing become now a turn life for me this whole thing becomes a trend line for me so i don't want to see price come and mitigate this guy again yeah kind of a trend line here so i don't want to see price mitigating this guy it might happen okay like it, it will not but it might happen but i don't like seeing price mitigating this guy because it is liquidity so what do i expect price to do there's this guy that took liquidity broke structure left internal liquidity rally take it out the thing then give a sell setup to the downside if that happened what do you target previous low so what uh, did I have first when you want to be maybe when you want to scalp you want to make sure that the higher time frame is bearish okay or if you want to sell price you want to make sure that the higher time frame is bearish if the higher time frame is bearish what do you do you can now sell price to wherever you think price is going to right so as I go on the H4 here I have a POI down here that I'm waiting for price to come through and also some liquidity here so what is the overall I want to see price there's also a volume imbalance on the daily time frame so I want to see price sell, fill the volume imbalance, and maybe come to the POI before maybe it might give me a buy setup to the upside. But all I want to see price here is I just want to see price giving me what sell setup, or I want to know where price is heading to so that I, when I sell I can have some sort of target. So as I know now my overall on the higher time frame, what do I do? I now go to the lower time frame to scalp, and on the lower time frame is simple. You just have to get your market structure. So what do I have here? Let me go to the 15 minutes so that you guys can see. So first thing you want to make sure that you have your market structure. You have to identify your market structure. Once you have your market structure, you can now have your range. Let's say this high to this low, which would have been what? Your A, then this low would have been your B. What do you want to know or what do you want to do? You want to be selling when price gives you a pullback inside of your range. So let's say if you have a POI here, what do you want to see price doing? Give you a pullback, tap your POI give you confirmation then give you a sell setup it's just that that's pretty much the only thing you want to be doing here so it's the same thing me i use all right so what do i see i see this high that gave me what a new low so when this happened i expect price to give me what a pullback to take out some sort of liquidity and mitigate the poi then give me what a sell setup to the downside so it's the same thing i've just explained right now i just want to see price give me a pullback tap a zone then give me a sell setup and if you just use this trust me you are going to hit rr so we are now on the 15 minutes on the 15 minute, i already uh, got my market structure only thing i want to see price doing is give me a pullback tap a zone then give me what a sell setup to the downside if that happened what do you target you target previous low and that's it all right that's it so what do we have here let me go this market structure right let me identify now my poi and maybe my liquidity if i go to the 15 minute or the five minute I now have to identify a POI. If you see, we have a high here, right, which is a POI, and also we have a high here, which is a POI. But then there is a reason for this high to be not valid. Then the only one which is valid was this POI up here, which what took liquidity inside of this guy, broke structure to the downside, and left what all of these highs or all of these zones as a trend line, which would have been what liquidity. So we have liquidity for price to come take and give us a sell setup, as well as we have a POI here. And the POI, you can have it on the 
you can have the whole thing yeah this whole thing can be a poi there's no problem but then i refined it on the i think was it the one minute chart i think i refined the thing on the one minute chart but this is my liquidity line these lines you see here on my trading view are really really powerful every single time you see price hit my line it gives what the reaction right so yeah so as we i have this line i sent it from the zoom call we just said i had a zoom call with my members i told them what do you have you have a poi you have a poi we have a line what do you want to see price doing come take out your liquidity then give yourself a set of mitigating the poi all right this is the only thing i want to be seeing price doing but then at this uh peak london open price rally took out the liquidity then gave a sell setup from here i did not catch the sell because i woke up late but if i did wake up then i would have caught uh the buy or i would have caught the buy to the downside or the sell to the downside but then i didn't get the sell but if you wanted to take the sell how you, would you have taken the sell all you have to do is identify your market structure right what do we have we have this low price gave us this high gave us what? this low gave us this high gave us this low gave us this high from here you didn't break the low so you wouldn't really sell from a pullback here to the downside that wouldn't make any sense so what do you expect price to do you expect price from this high to drop give you a new low which goes lower than the previous low so if this happened that would have been what your change your character to the downside so if you get your change your character to the downside now you can start selling it but if the change your character didn't happen there is no sell setup as you can see here we have what we have the change of character to the downside this would have been your change of character to the downside and once the change of character happened you want to see price doing what give you a pullback or a sell setup and if pullback can tap a poi this whole thing can be a flip zone that price can come tap give you a sell or you can refine it to a breaker block the price came mitigated the breaker block gave a sell setup so any sort of entry with confirmation entry this would have been the sell exactly from this nice mitigation and where is your stop loss you can put your sellers above the uh the breaker block there is no problem but i prefer having my sellers above the high because sometimes price might mitigate the poi so this would have been the sell the first sell would have been this but i said i did not catch this sell to the downside because i woke up late for some reason my alarm didn't woke me up but then i was chill because i took the second sell here so when i woke up i saw price already first tp if you would have taken the sell okay if you would have taken the sell first tp would have been the asia low or this low here this would have been the first tp let me make it white yeah this would have been the first tp and the second tp would have been this low here so you sell from here you have your first tp here and then there was a re-entry now let me break down the re-entry and i will tell you guys how i manage my trade so if i zoom in from this low that's where i actually woke up so i'm like okay as i miss the first sell let me see if i can get a re-entry because i know the overall the daily time frame overall you are going to do what you are going to sell to the downside until we take out this guy here this guy should be taken out there's for me there's no buy setup from this low here so i want to see price doing what give me this sell take out the low i know today's bank holiday but you see we got the sell to the downside so if i continue breaking this down what do you have all you need is identify your market structure you have this high that gave us what gave us this low and the high gave me a new low i just want to see price give me a pullback mitigate something then give me a sell setup that's pretty much what i want to do so my range is what this high to this low make it simple all right you have this pullback you have this your range is what this high to this low you want to see price doing what give you a pullback mitigate your zone give yourself setup to the downside that's pretty much what you want to see that is pretty much what you want to see so what do we have you have our order block here price came tap the ob but then i will not straight away sell from this order block without confirmation so uh the fact that I, I wouldn't sell this without confirmation because if you look at this high this highs looks more of liquidity for me you see this highs looks liquidity all of these are liquidity only this is my range or this is my py so the, what do i expect price to do if price has to take out the liquidity what will price do rally take out my liquidity give me a sell setup to the downside but then if price has to mitigate my zone it will come mitigate and give me a sell setup as well so what do we have when price came and tapped my zone i want to make sure that price ready to go bearish then i want to see what a change of character this was the last low that gave me what this high so what do i expect price to do i want to see price drop take out my low give me a pullback mitigate my zone give me a sell setup that's it when that happened i'm gonna take my trade so this was the sell exactly or the chain of character i had then my sell setup came from this relative equal highest price created here 
so we have liquidity here so i'm like okay let me enter from this liquidity because i knew that price will buy take out the liquidity before giving a sell setup so then i'm like okay let me enter from this liquidity and where is my stop loss my own stop loss would have been above this confirmation entry which would have given me i don't know uh about 17 hours but, but then i'm like what if price i have no idea why i did not have my stop loss above this but i put my stop loss here which is the safer stop loss if i can make it that way this is the safer stop loss i had and the whole trade was about 10 hours or 12 i think i had i gave even more space because of spread i think so i had like 10 hours yeah that, this was a 10 hour trade i had this sell and how did i manage my position when i look here we have the previous low which would have been my tp so if you are trading this range your previous low would have been your tp but then i'm like okay let me extend it to five hour so when price hit my five hour that's where i took my partial and then uh i was waiting for this low for full tp my first partial was this five hour and the second partial i think it was somewhere from this low which would have been about eight hour and my full tp is a 10 hour so right now i'm holding some of the position until the full tp which is 10 hour then I yeah I already took about seventy five percent plus out. So right now I'm just waiting for price to hit TP or if it comes back to BE is fine because I took my trade eight R and done. Then for some of my members who got the sell from this, then they can also have a TP at this region. So this would have been the trade for today. We still have bank holiday, but uh, th this this is actually what price gave us, and we are outside of the kill zone, so there wouldn't be any setup for me anymore. But if there should be a setup for me right now. Where do I think price can give me a setup? Uh, if I look at this, I can see that price can potentially give me a setup from this guy. Yeah, price can give me a setup from this guy. We can have this sell setup from here, or we can sell from this line up here. I waited for this, but price somehow did not give me the sell setup, and then, or yeah, somehow it, it, it didn't take my liquidity. You see, price missed the zone, then went down. I think some of my members they got the sell even if uh uh I was not really interested but let me check it. I saw someone on Discord had the sell. Give me a while I will show you guys. Oh okay, he had the sell a bit lower. It was this one. Yeah, he had the sell a bit lower. But I was waiting for this high to be gone and price never gave me the entry. And I think the one I was waiting for price to give me the sell, these are my uh I did scalper if I go up, it was which one? This guy. Yeah, it was this one. I was waiting for this one. I was waiting for a liquidity graph from this high before a sell setup, but that didn't happen. And yes, I did send this before the thing even happened. If I go up, if I go up, if I go up, yes, it was this one. I was waiting for price to take out the liquidity. Which is here it has to take out my liquidity then give me a sell setup to the downside but that didn't happen but it was fine because i already had what i already had one sell from this here so this would have been the thing so let's see if price come to this one that would still be a sell setup but right now i took my trade eight hour partial and i'm right now chill like i'm pretty much done for the day all right so the thing is trading you don't have to spend your whole time or the whole day trading you just want to get what you learn the thing you master then you get your trading session my trading session london session is this one and it is three hours i woke up i trade for three hours then i hit my maybe five or ten hour and once i hit my five or ten hour i'm done for the day i'm pretty much done for the day it's the same here i just hit one trade here i'm done for the day right now i can i can trade i cannot trade but i'm done for the day because i hit my daily target 10 hour if you are risking 0 0.5 you made what you made five percent i think yeah you make five percent and you are done for the day no matter what account size you have especially if it's a prop firm then you make actually good money for the day and yeah you wait tomorrow and you come you catch the rr again every single day and i think this is pretty much done for the goal if you guys are really interested into learning the scalping mastery the way i'm saying here like those breakdowns like get those rr if you really want to learn then you can check the link in my description or in the description of this video you'll get access to the Cause it's just a lifetime uh, payment is 249. You pay 249, you get access to the course, you get access to those weekly calls, and get you get access to pretty much everything, like all the materials you need to actually learn the scalping mastery. But if you want, you can also go for a premium course, which is actually this one. The intake is still there just for four days. I think the intake is four days. 
they can have access to the premium course which is this one and yeah you can actually learn even way faster and with the premium course or if you want you can just get the simple mentorship and you seem good to go if you guys like this type of content make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and activate the notification bell to access every single new video i post and make sure you follow me on instagram if you have one make sure you follow my instagram the name is astrisfx also the link in the description of the video and also if you guys are interested into trading your own personal account there's xness a good broker i've been using for a while so if you are interested you can also have the link in the description of this video